Hi everyone and happy Friday and happy feast day of Saint Juan Diego. If you don't know who Saint Juan Diego is, he's the, the man to which the Virgin of Guadalupe appeared on uh, the hill in Mexico at Tepeyac. And the story goes that his, the image of her showed up on his tilma or kind of his, his garment, his poncho, and that is where the image of Our Lady of Guadalupe comes from. It's still on a tilma in Mexico City today. So I thought I'd wear my, my poncho today with Mary's image on it as well. You know, during that time in Mexico, there was, uh, it was a really difficult time for the church. They were trying to uh, evangelize with the native people there, and it was very difficult. Everything that they tried, they, they took as a lie. Uh, they, their, their religion or their uh, pagan gods were strong for them, and, and they didn't like anybody telling them anything different. But they were also suffering. It was a suffering people at that time. A lot of times in life, we want to turn anywhere but to the gospel for help. We want to control things ourselves. We want to try and find the ways that things can be solved without having to depend on anyone else. We only want to depend on ourselves. But the message of the Bible, the message of Jesus is always opposite to that. And it's funny because really he wants to take everything on himself for us, yet it's difficult for us to trust in that. Today in our first reading from the prophet Isaiah, the prophet tells us, you know, if you would just hearken to my commands, your, you know, your wealth would overflow. Your descendants would be like sand, being numerous as grains of sand on a beach. And then Jesus tells us in the gospel, he compares the generation to those who sit in the marketplace and say, hey, we, we played a dirge for you, but you did not weep. We, we played this for you and you didn't dance. Saying that, kind of comparing them to people who say, you know, well, I did this and this and this, but the outcome that I wanted didn't happen. Why didn't it happen the way that it was supposed to? And God's not like that. We can't control God in that way. The only thing that we have to our recourse is simply to pray and to put our, our hopes in him. And it doesn't mean that we are totally, you know, inactive bystanders, but we search for his will for us. We search and we, we have the church for guidance as well in that way. We have the scriptures for guidance as well. This is St. Juan Diego's great feat is that he was eventually obedient to the Virgin of Guadalupe to show the tilma to the bishop at that time. And from there, the greatest evangelization, the greatest uh, conversion to Catholicism happened in all of history. The people of Mexico, that's where it happened. So we ask today for the intercession of St. Juan Diego to be obedient to the word of God, to be obedient to God himself and to stop searching anywhere else but him for help and that we might fully surrender to his will for us in our lives.